Hey, Chuck, what day is it? What's today's day? All right. Hey, man, it's Wednesday, so you already know. It's binge work. We're going to rate, and we're watching season two of The Witcher. So, Chuck, man, how are you going to rate season two of The Witcher? Man... Oh man, this is a tough one for me, guys. I'm gonna say a minute. Oh, okay. When I binged it, and I was getting the mini meal from me, I think about it all the time, and I'm like, oh, after watching an animated movie, this is a mini meal for me. And okay. it's and I'll explain why later, but yeah. Okay. All right, Santel, buddy, how you gonna rate The Witcher season two? Uh, I gave season one, I'm pretty sure I gave season one a, a binge out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, uh, this didn't measure up to that. I'm not gonna go as far as a mini meal, but I will give it a full meal. I'm fully invested in the individual universe. So this uh, is doing enough service to, to keep me going away from Michelle Yeoh's variation and see what she comes up with it as well. Cause I, I, I gotta have it, I love the story. Um, maybe just needs a little bit more action. A couple things come through me, but yeah, full meal. Okay, all right. So we got a mini meal so far. We got a full meal. I'm gonna jump in here real quick, and I'm gonna give it a full meal. I was invested in this. I enjoyed characters. I enjoyed the interaction. I went to tell. I liked a little bit more action because you know it's an epic series. But the action that we did get, I didn't think it was bad. I liked the monsters in it. Uh, I liked the the arc that a lot of the characters had, especially from season one. So I enjoyed this. I'm giving it a full meal. Miss Courtney Scott Wright, how are you gonna rate Witcher season well, two? So I like like all of you. I've been kind of sitting with it, trying to figure out like, what do I actually feel? Because here's the thing, I binged it full on. I've been, I, I, I binged it in under 48 hours. I fin went from episode to episode to episode. <laughs> so I, I do agree that I, I would have liked a little bit more action, but I think that the way that this season was set up in terms of the story building of actually, um, exposing us to what Siri actually is. That that was the whole art. That was the whole trajectory of season two is understanding Cirilla and what she can do and who she is. And along the way, we also got a great storyline for Yennefer, things for her to fight through. So for me, I am gonna give it a binge worthy because I binged it. Is it different than season one? Yeah, it is. And I was struggling between binge worthy and full meal. But I think it, it needed this setup in order for us to understand where we're going into season three. All right, so um, that gives us a cumulative score of a full meal. So we got uh, two full meals, a binge out, and a mini meal. All right, well, let's jump right into it. So the beginning of season, uh, season two, we find Garrett, he reunites with uh, Suri. So what are we thinking about the dynamic between those two characters? It's Courtney, how do you, what do you feel about the dynamic between those characters? Oh, Sintel wants to jump in. Oh, go ahead, Sintel, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, it's 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 just from, it's a relatively quick. So, okay, I, I've, I've read some of the books um, and there's a thing in the book regarding Suri and it's just that she's this child and it's just this childlike experience of living with this witcher. This grown man that's lived for God knows how long, that's a monster killer. You have this thing of innocence that's kind of like with, that's with this man. Well, the actress, no disrespect to her, because I think she's doing a decent job, but she she's not 12 years old. She's not 13 years old. She looked a little bit, she was more forgiving of the part a little bit last year and during the first season. I can kind of deal with that, but it kind of just took me out of it because I don't see her as, as this innocence. I see her as just a, as a grown woman that's, you know, that's still trying to, that's still trying to go through the same trials and tribulations for understanding um, where she fits, uh, understand her, her her new power that she has. To me, it feels very similar to kind of like what Unifer was going through. You already have Unifer. I don't need two of them. And I love Unifer. I wanted more Unifer in the series. But that's, it's just a small thing. It wasn't enough to make me say I quit the series. But that relationship, like, if you look at them long enough, they look like they could be dating almost. I'm like, it's just it just looks a little odd to me. I disagree with that. I, I, okay. I mean, in terms of them dating, 
Like I, I don't, I didn't, I totally got father daughter vibe from okay. them. Yeah. I, I did not get, I didn't, I didn't get that. Um, in terms of her age, yes, she definitely, she was 19 when she filmed season one. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and it's been like two, three years. So she's probably like 22, 23. Um, I agree. She did look like she, she aged. I mean, I think it was the wig that was not helping. The wig she had in first season one was a lot better. I don't know what they did need to bring that wig back, but um, it did. It it didn't help her. I got mm -hmm. teenage vibes. I got. I didn't get that she was twelve, but I got that she was like sixteen, seventeen. So for me, I definitely got that youthful energy for her. And I thought that their relationship, especially like um, where it ended in season one, you know, like they automatically had a a built. They had a bond based on the destiny that was between them so it was just kind of immediate i i would have liked a little bit more of um uncertainty between the two of them because they both just accepted each other like right away uh my grandmother told me to find him i found him cool i'm good with him <laughs> like it's still like a random man you don't know him <laughs> but he's he's gail de rivia and you know legendary so therefore i'm cool and he's Geralt, he, he just accepted his, he went through his whole journey in that cell at the end of season one, you know what I mean? Like his traveling to Sentra, him sitting in the cell while Sentra was falling. I feel like that was his journey. We just didn't get to be a part of it. So they just accepted it. So I appreciated their relationship for what it was. Okay. Chuck, what about you, man? How you feeling between uh, Siri and uh, Geralt? I thought she was more Sansa than Arya. And it threw me I off. I thought so too. She was getting on my nerves. Yeah, she was more Sansa than Arya, and I was like, I'm just tired of this girl. I wish somebody just kill her. Um, <laughs> I wish somebody kill her. Um, <laughs> That's how you really feel, fam. Yeah, Tell me how you really and, feel. And, I, and I feel as though like I felt father vibes from him sometimes, but not all the times. It's like he was detached. Like he's a bad father. I thought he was a bad father. Like he was like he was like Superman the Superboy. Like that ain't my child, but I gotta take care of it. You know? <laughs> like he was a know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like yeah. he, he like, definitely like, like, he, like he tried and oh, yeah, he tried he, way he was, more yeah, he tried way he, more than yeah. Superman tried with yeah, Superboy. Yeah. That's he true. was like he was he, he like definitely tried. Saying much, he though. That's, Superboy that's not saying and much though. <laughs> and that's, that's true as well. Much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Su yeah. Superman is the worst, the biggest deadbeat dad of all time, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like he cared about the girl because when when the when the when the when the maiden of night said, "Hey, she can come work for me. I have her make all kinds of money," and he made that look at her. She says, "And you say you're not a father." <laughs> well, I mean, wasn't that a good thing, right? I think you know yeah, he's, he doesn't I, I, know how to raise kids. That, like, that, he's, he's a weird no, he has like, no idea. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. No. He's just like hunting monsters he, and killing them. He, on he, the road. he had to call in like, reinforcements. He called him, what's her name? She yeah, Tris like, Marigold. Tris I was just Marigold. about to say yeah. that. He called yeah. him Tris, and Tris had to educate him. On, and all of them, because the dudes are treating her just like she's like, you know, the stepmother the child that they didn't right. really ask for and kind of don't really know if they like her. So we just going to tease no, her. No, we they just going to bully they, this girl. They put her on the obstacle course and let her get her yeah, That was fucked up. That, that <laughs> was fucked up. But, but you know what, you, though? You I don't, I don't know if it's messed up. Because it's like, exactly, if you want to be a... If you want to be a witcher, then this is what's required. But, I mean, but usually they, when they put them on the obstacle they, course, they've already survived. Yeah, they the had to build up to that. They they kind of just threw they her just into threw the her fire, her, man. Her yeah. She volunteered. She volunteered <laughs> she, herself. She did. Because she didn't know any better. She's like, I want to be a witcher. So it's like, but they cool do it. it. If I want to be a basketball even... player and Michael Jordan is going to be my coach, right? And he's going and Michael Jordan's like, do this drill. I'm going to do this drill, right? Because thing, I want to get to that level. I don't think that she, yes, she decided that the only thing she has ever, only person she's ever seen that's capable of taking care of themselves as a in, in a badass way is Geralt. Yeah, so therefore, yep. I want to be a witcher. I want right. to be you so that I can take care of myself so that mm -hmm. I don't have to keep running. So that yeah, I, I don't have to you. be this fearful thing. It wasn't necessarily that she wanted to be a witcher. She wanted to be able to take care of herself. Yes, yeah, she did. She wanted to be she a She wanted badass. to make her own decision. She, she wanted, wanted to be able to well, like not her, be beholden I mean, to somebody yeah. else. Like, and I so like that's decision. why she was standing out there like fighting with the little mannequin for hours. And, and Geralt's like, yeah, you're done. Just 
go inside and get something to eat. And she's like, no, I don't want to. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going until I get it. <laughs> well, and that's just like what the dudes were saying. Like, okay, you want to keep going? Then go over you, here. This is a person yeah. of obsessive compulsive disorder. So she is struggling. Instead of facing her emotions of feeling of loss of her home, of her grandmother, of her entire community and kingdom, she just wanted to fight something. And let's be honest, everybody she loves, she watched get killed. Yeah, everybody. everybody. She needs counseling bad everybody. ass. She needs counseling. Everybody on the show needs counseling. Everybody on the show needs counseling. Siri definitely needs counseling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.